how is everybody i hope you're all keeping nice and warm as it's been quite cold i actually forget sometimes how cold it is when i speak to my kids and they're in south africa and 30 degrees and i say here with two it seems crazy but i hope everybody's well and you're safe and you're all strong and uh reverend ian had asked um uh, people if they had any testimony of what god had been saying during this time of lockdown and you know the lord had been saying so much i think to most of us i put most of mine on youtube the, the things that the lord has been saying so i did post a lot on youtube about the things that he'd been saying during this time but you know i was just thinking about what he's been doing and his goodness that even though we're all in lockdown that prayer can go where we can't go and we serve such an amazing god if i just see of what he's been doing in friends and family and just in people's lives just by praying and how the lord has lent me uh, led me across the path of so many different people and praying for them and just seeing miracles and provision and doors opened and you know with my own children as well just uh, with their work they've still had work and how he's opened door for my youngest one she um was she had uh, three jobs she was out repairing and she was cleaning and she was doing um uh, restaurant and bar work and she really wanted to be in school she was supposed to go to vietnam and obviously it was cancelled because obviously the lockdown anyway she was looking for positions and one came and she didn't get uh, she, she got an interview but she didn't get the job and i said well shanae you know that it was for you you would get it and you know we only fail when we stop trying so we keep on trying to keep on applying and anyway, she applied for another one and she did the interview and she got it and she started on the 3rd of November and they were just going back into lockdown again and she's loving it you know so even through the midst of the storms and the challenges we're all going through God is a good God he's making a way he's watching over us he's protecting us he's keeping us safe when my son started his new plumbing business in uh, December 2019 and how he's kept him afloat and kept him going uh, through this time it really is such a blessing and you know it's it, just when i look at god what he's been doing in my friends and people uh, uh he's led me to pray for and we've stood in i mean even last week i was praying doing praise and worship around the field and my one friend said debs i'm in such a bad place and there's this and there's that and my tooth broken it's going to cost a fortune and we've got no work coming in i said right now we bind that in jesus name we speak in life we speak life in jesus name anyway we just prayed with her two days later she said she went to the dentist and she got it done for a ridiculously low price he didn't have to put a crown on he managed to fix it for a really good price and they got a big job that came in paid 100 percent in full for january it's like two days later god can do more than we can possibly imagine and i can testify to time and time again i've just seen him provide i've seen him make a way for flights i've seen him pay for operations i've just seen him do so much this year that prayer can go where we can't go and that we serve a good god and you know god is there for us he hears our prayers i um couldn't go back to south africa last may and then i was supposed to go again in october i couldn't go for my grandson's um birth and i'm supposed to go now the end of january and it obviously uh, hasn't happened with all the lockdowns and what had happened i was like lord i really need time out. i really need just some days off on my own i'm here 24 hours a day i do get a couple of hours off like four or five hours off maybe five six sometimes uh, hours a week um when i've got cover but i've got to be here in the morning i've got to be back at night so uh, the time i've got is really limited so i thought i just want a few days off to really go and chill and spend time with you anyway i got time off i ended up getting time off when my grandson was born so it was great because i spent the whole day video calling and and chatting to my daughter and the lady who gave me a place to stay we uh, were doing town prayers last year and she asked me to cut her hair so i ended up cutting her hair for her you know with all the shield and doing it outside and she's got a place next door to her that's vacant that nobody uses and i asked her i said you know would you mind um if my daughter was supposed to come through so would you mind if she could stay there for a few days she said no not at all and then when she couldn't come through i said would you mind if i could stay there for a few days she goes no not at all but it'd be great to have it used so it was so nice a beautiful little place just on its own that nobody uses that she just allowed me to use to have time out and then when i went the other week um she just said no if, uh, on my day off if i want to just go in there for the day just phone her or just message her and uh, or, or put her the head around the corner and wave to let her know that i'm there and i can just go in she's given me the key that i can just go in and spend some time in the warm instead of being outside in the cold so god is a good god and i could testify and just bring so many testimonies of his goodness of what he has done during this time even though it's been stressful it's been challenging we're all going through different challenges and it hasn't been easy but one thing we know 
our freedom was so important we could just get up and go as we, we, we wanted and now we can't and how important family and friends are to us and with technology we can still get in touch, we can still video call, we can still do so much. I phone my mother-in-law once a week in South Africa and she says, Deb, I love you when you call. I'm so blessed to have you as a daughter-in-law and that you always phone me. I can't wait for your call and I phone video call my mum here in Coventry. So it's just so nice we can still keep in touch with people. And even though I can't phone many people because of my hours, you know, we can all just phone one person and if one person, another person phones, another person, another person phones, another person and every person is phoning one person. It'll be a lot of people being phoned and just being felt that they're loved. I uh, always remember that slogan, make somebody happy with a phone call. And sometimes we can just phone somebody and make them happy and make their day, especially in this challenging time, to give an encouraging word. And if we're giving God's word, God is good. And he, he, his word is, encourages us. It gives us hope. It gives us life. And he is the one that guides the path and lights the way. Anyway, I just wanted to share that on this afternoon, that God is a good God. Prayer can go where we can't go. Got to keep praying, believing, not go weary and doing good because we know in due time we shall reap if we do not lose heart. And in these challenging times, prayer is the answer. Prayer really is the answer. And God is going to show his mighty hand at work. I'm going to believe that he's just going to show and reveal himself in a mighty way in all of our lives. Wherever you are, stay warm, stay safe and stay blessed. And hopefully all, we'll see you all soon. God bless.